Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a pretty quick and straightforward review on this Pelican 1510 camera case. So let's get started. I'm awakened by the truth that only for a moment I'm alive with you. Now this camera case isn't one of those pieces of equipment that I'm head over heels for. However, it is a necessary purchase if you want to keep your gear organized and safe. And just as a preface, I bought this camera case with my own money. I wasn't sent anything or wasn't giving anything or asked to do a review. I just felt that buying a camera case like this is a necessary purchase. And people who are looking into getting one of these would hopefully find this review helpful. So as we open up the case, you're going to see that it has this yellow foam padding. Now when you order the case from Pelican, you're given three options. You're given the pick and pluck foam, you get the Trek pack dividers, and then the option that I went with, which is the yellow padded dividers. The reason I went with the padded dividers is um, because I can customize the layout however I want and not be stuck to that layout if I ever decided to change the gear or add more items. With the pick and pluck foam and the Trek pack, once you make your cuts for the layout, you're stuck with that. And if you want to change it later down the road, you're going to have to buy a brand new insert. You also have the option of adding a lid organizer up in here in this section here, which is a little contraption that goes on the lid and it has all these zippers and pockets that keep you even more organized. However, on the wedding days, I keep all my spare batteries, my lens cleaning kits and my memory cards and a, even a spare uh, speed light in this bag. And I keep this with me at all times. So I didn't feel it was necessary to get the lid organizer. And as you can see from all the stuff inside here, I'm able to hold a lot of things anyways. I've got three speed lights, I've got my 7200, I got 35, my 85, and then I even got all my MagMod accessories. And it all fits really nice and snug in this case here, which is perfect for me. And as we move to the exterior of the case, uh, you can see that the latches here, they, they close pretty tight and they're very snug and they're not gonna come undone by accident. You really have to yank at them in order to open it. And then you do have this top handle here, and then you do have a side handle here. Boy, down here, so. It kind of allows you to grab a hold of your case pretty easily and if you need to load it into your trunk of your car or take it out, um, that kind of helps as well. And on the back of the case here, you do have this little slide out handle that helps you uh, roll because if, if you notice back here in the bottom of the case, you've got these little, and they're kind of like these little cheap plastic wheels, but they do the job. And it allows you to uh, roll your case around instead of having to carry it. So the outside of the case is made out of this really hard, like high quality plastic. And then you also have the foam inserts on the inside, which makes this case a really extremely well built and will protect your camera and gear from drops and even water. So you can be rest assured that your gear will be protected on your photo shoots. And I know this because the first day that I had this case, my son grabbed and yanked this case off from the sofa and it slammed onto the floor and I had all my gear inside of it. And when I opened it, I was surprised to find that nothing was damaged. Thank God. So uh, even on the first day, this case was already doing its job and we're already putting it to work. So two other features that I didn't touch on um, are these two little lock holes here. You got two, two lock holes here that allow you to lock the case to keep it more secure than it already is. And then also here on the inside, in the middle part here, You've got this little pressure release valve, and this is just for when you're flying. It keeps, maintains the pressure inside the case when you're going at different altitudes and stuff, the pressures change. So that's what this little valve is for. Overall, I really like this case. It's very high quality. It's gonna keep everything nice and secure. And again, this is just one of those necessary things that you're gonna have to buy at some point to make sure that you keep your gear safe because dropping your gear in a little camera bag and stuff, it's not really gonna keep your lenses safe or your camera body safe. If you drop, if you drop this, I'm pretty sure your gear is gonna be, for the most part, secure, depending on how high you drop it from, I would imagine. I hope you like my review on the Pelican 1510 case. Again, this is not something that is very interesting or sexy. However, as you start buying more gear, you're gonna need a way to protect it and keep it organized. And this is just one of those necessary purchases that is required if your goal is to keep your gear protected and organized. So thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.